In this video, I will guide you on how to get your perfect goddess helm and shoes. So, if you've just started out playing Dragon Nest and wondering what gear you should get next, this guide is for you. In addition, I will give some important tips along the way. So, be sure to watch the whole video. Before we start, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing so you won't miss any of my new uploads. Now that is out of the way, let's get started. For those who didn't know, Goddess Equipment has a specific skill effect that can stack with the effect of Skill Jades. The recommended Goddess Equipment that you should focus on is the Goddess Helm and Shoes. Why? It is because the Goddess Helm skill effect is, when the enemy HP is less than 50%, the specific skill used will do additional damage proportional to the lost HP of the enemy. On the other hand, the Goddess Shoes skill effect is, when a specific skill successfully hits critical, the specific skill used will do 30% additional damage. For example, my Moon Lord uses Blood Moon Dragon Jade which enhances his specific skill named Crescent Cleave. From that information, we should get the Goddess Helm and Shoes that also enhances the same skill effect, which is Crescent Cleave. We should get the Helm and Shoes, which is the Helm of Sword Light and the Shoes of Sword Light. The best way to get the Goddess Helm and Shoes are from doing the main quest missions. When you finish one main quest mission, you will be rewarded with Adventurer's Necessity Box which contains Goddess Coin. Each Adventurer's Necessity Box contains one Goddess Coin. These coins are needed to purchase class-specific Deep Twilight Box. This box contains class-specific Goddess Equipment that is compatible with your character specialization. You will need 30 Goddess Coins to purchase one Deep Twilight Box class-specific. To buy Deep Twilight Box, you will need to go to Red Lotus Palace Main Street Go to the Crack of Time and Space Portal and select Sunset Watchtower. Inside the Sunset Watchtower, go and talk to Priestess of Darkness Canal and select Sunset Cloister Store. Select Equipment tab, and you will see the Deep Twilight Box Class specific armor on the bottom left of the shop. Important note, even though that the class-specific Deep Twilight Box can guarantee that the armor that you will get is compatible with your class, it is still not guaranteed that you will get the Goddess Helm and Shoes that you want, because opening a class-specific Deep Twilight Box gives you random Goddess Equipment part. You could get 350 plus Goddess Coins if you finish all of your character's main quest missions. So, if you want to get the perfect Goddess Helm and Shoes fast and easy, please, do not skip your main quest. Important note, you can also get one goddess coin every day from the daily login event. So, make sure to collect it in your main character. I'm going to try opening some class specific deep twilight box. So, wish me luck. My specialization is moon lord, so the goddess helm and shoes that we need are the helm of sword light and the shoes of sword light. Alright, here goes nothing. Are you serious? This is torture! The other way of getting Goddess Helm and Shoes is by collecting 3000 Sunset Tinted Silver Coins. Using 3000 Sunset Tinted Silver Coins, you can directly buy the specific Goddess Helm and Shoes that you need. But getting 3000 Sunset Tinted Silver Coins requires a lot of time and a Sunset Cloister map doing Sunset Cloister Run. After you get 3000 Sunset Tinted Silver Coins, go to the Red Lotus Palace and enter the Sunset Watchtower. Talk to Priestess of Darkness Canal and select Sunset Tinted Silver Coin Shop. Inside the shop, you will see the different specialization tabs of your class. Select the tab that corresponds with your character specialization. For example, my specialization is Moon Lord so I must choose the tab that is labeled Moon Lord. Important note, each goddess equipment costs 3000 sunset tinted silver coins, so I don't recommend focusing on collecting 3000 sunset tinted coins, especially when you've just started playing, 
because it will require a lot of time and, of course, gold. But if you can afford it, I recommend buying a Cloister Map Bundle from the Trading House. Cloister Map Bundle costs from about 25,000 gold up to 30,000 gold. Each bundle contains 60 Sunset Cloister Maps. The last method of getting Goddess Helm and Shoe is by using Sunset Tinted Leaf. Sunset Tinted Leaf can only obtain every time you defeat the boss in the Sunset Cloister. The higher the difficulty, the more Sunset Tinted Leaf that you can get. You can also get Sunset Tinted Leaf when you disassemble Goddess equipment that you don't need. You will need 6000 Sunset Tinted Leaf to purchase Deep Twilight Box, part specific, which means that you can only get a specific Goddess Equipment part, but keep in mind that this is not a class specific box, so it will give you random Goddess Equipment. The box that you need to purchase is the Deep Twilight Box Helm which will only give Helm part, and the same as for the Deep Twilight Box Shoes which will only give Shoes part. To buy Deep Twilight Box Helm and Deep Twilight Box Shoes, go to Red Lotus Palace Main Streets and enter the Sunset Watchtower. Talk to Priestess of Darkness Canel and select Sunset Cloister Shop, and select the Equipment tab. There, you will see the Deep Twilight Helm and Shoes box on the upper section of the shop. The chances of getting your class Goddess Helm and Shoes from these boxes are low, but it is a great way to farm your other character's Goddess Helm and Shoes, that you can transfer later on. Now, to transfer Goddess Equipment to your other character, you will need to buy 100 Celestone in the Trading House, and buy Dimension Traveler Traces, from the Sunset Cloister Store, from the NPC Priestess of Darkness Canal in Sunset Watchtower, located at Red Lotus Palace Main Streets. This item is used when moving goddess equipment through the special storage server. Did you already get your goddess helm and shoes? If you do, please let me know in the comment section below. That is the end of the guide. I hope this video helped you. Before you go, please smash that like button, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Again, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.